we're going to start with Dr. Kelly Henry from the Jason Lewis Lab. And the title of her talk is Altering the Tumor Microenvironment to Improve Immunotherapy. Pancreatic cancer is an extremely devastating disease. The five-year survival rate for pancreatic cancer is only 9%. And those numbers are even worse when the cancer has already metastasized. And unfortunately, in the context of pancreatic cancer, it's rare to be diagnosed when the cancer hasn't already spread to other parts of the body. Within pancreatic cancer, therapies to address this have not really improved in the last 25 years and are rarely curative. The reason why pancreatic tumors are so difficult to treat is really twofold. The one side is that it's a very challenging tumor microenvironment in the sense where it has a breadth of dysfunctional immune cells surrounding the cancer cells, but they're not doing their job. On the other side of the coin, there's a very dense structural barrier, a different type of cell population that's preventing drugs from effectively reaching their target. As such, there's a desperate need for creative therapeutic approaches within pancreatic cancer. Immunotherapy is a newer type of cancer treatment. It has really revolutionized the field. We've seen it on the, in the news, on the cover of major scientific articles. And we've heard all the success stories and how it's been shown to be curative in certain patient populations. There are a few different types of immunotherapy, but one of the main ways, and the one that I'm interested in, is essentially targeting a checkpoint of the immune system that has gone haywire within your cancer. If you're able to successfully target that checkpoint, then you're able to reprogram your immune system to fight the cancer. But what if that checkpoint exists, but we can't get to it? How do we reach it? This is a major problem within pancreatic cancer, and this is what's represented on the scheme. You'll see in the center that there are orange immune cells, or orange cancer cells in the center, and they're surrounded by a number of different other structures, different colors that are surrounding it. This is also where the checkpoint lies. So on the one side of the coin, we have a breadth of those dysfunctional immune cells that are not actually being able to target the cancer. This is represented by the blue and the green and the yellow structures in the scheme. You also see the pink elongated structures, and that is representing the, that dense structural barrier, which is preventing drugs from effectively reaching their target. But what if we're able to find a successful targeted therapy that essentially activates that tumor microenvironment? We can turn those cold, immune silent tumors to hot, immune activated tumors, and be able to successfully break down that tumor microenvironment. We can then subsequently dose with immunotherapy and be able to actually target that checkpoint. We would be able to make those cold tumors hot and be able to modulate the tumor microenvironment in order to improve immunotherapy. We would be able to make that 9% survival rate in pancreatic cancer 